Hello YouTube and TikTokers. My name is Tina and welcome to my channel, Tina Sitting Needle. If you're a new subscriber here, welcome, welcome. And if you are returning, hey, it is blah, blah, blah. We always do this every beginning of the video. <laughs> um, it has been, I think a month. Uh, yeah, pro probably. I started working. I am a hotel manager or housekeeping manager, shall I say, um, at a Schmarriott. It is extremely time consuming. So I don't have any more time on my hands to make things. This is going to be a very quick and short video as at least keep everybody up to date. I look greasy as fuck. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> it's my overhead lamp. Um, but I'm not, it's just hot in here now. Cause I, I had a fan probably should put the fan back on let's hit pause okay so i got that for work it is loud so i'm gonna lower it <laughs> it's 73 degrees in my house you know because everybody here feels the need that uh you know they need to be nice and warm and toasty opposed to just put some clothes on there's only so much i can take off and listen i don't mind it <laughs> So if you hear the noise from the fan, sorry, not sorry, but it is, it is extremely hot in my house, okay? Again, Georgia weather does change very quickly. So um, the sun is out, as you can see off of Brendan, um, the picture here. You see the sun just beaming right off of my picture frame. <laughs> so, Hello, hello, hello. So again, so with my job, um, it's a beautiful hotel and um, we have 99 rooms. We are not an extended stay, but they do extend. And I guess you have the money, you can stay. Um, we don't have stuff like a uh, full-blown refrigerator. We don't have stoves, things like that. But um, they're gorgeous rooms. Um, one of my favorite rooms would be 422. The way you can see all of our Conyers. It is a, um, a, a handicap room, but it's gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite rooms. Anyways, so it's a nice place. It's a lot of work. Um, very meticulous on putting things in the room. Very meticulous on, you know, brand standard, which of course, you know, coming from La Quinta, I was trained that way. So um, it don't bother me none. What bothers me is the time consuming. We'll just leave it at that. I mean, I know me. If I was there and I was doing 15 rooms, I'm banging those motherfuckers out by like 4 o'clock. Not no 6.30 at night, but it is what it is. So, anywho, I'll just show you what I've made <laughs> and make this extremely quick. Um, yeah, so. But I've been okay. Um, just a lot of different changes in life. Um, a lot of changes that I started earlier this year. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. I am happy, but you know, there's still some emotional things that I'm trying to get through right now as well. So between work, getting home, I barely even see my kids anymore. Um, it takes a lot out on you, you know, it does, but anyways, so two projects. The first one I started about a month ago and um, with that one, it was just going to be like a regular uh, blanket for around the house. Um, I have so much yarn in the house, you know, kind of just get rid of some of this, this stuff that I have, especially because a lot of it is so old. It's getting yarn rot, so it's starting to thin out or um, it's just, it's snagging too much, splitting on me. So at that point, I was like, okay, let me use some of this yarn. Except for the teal. The teal I actually got about two, three months ago. But the other yarn that I have there, sorry, I do this all the time. I play with my hair. I did my hair yesterday. She's so pretty. <laughs> so the other color was a mainstays yarn that I got years ago. My daughter's nine, or she's going on 10. I got it about eight years ago. Um, I wanted to make a funky sweater with it years ago. I didn't like crochet. But I also don't have time to be knitting one. So I said, forget about it. We're just going to use it for a blanket. 
then up until about a week or two ago, they started talking about um, Secret Santa at work. And everybody's going to like put in $25 if you want to play or whatever it is, you know, um, donate. Me, I don't, I don't do the Secret Santa thing. Um, I have the money. It's just, I don't feel that it's, it's not genuine. I mean, granted, you thought about somebody, okay, well, she likes coffee, so I'll get her coffee. And that one's always cold. Make, you know, buy her a scarf or whatever. I, I, I'd rather make it. So, um, sadly, I had made a blanket. And um, not that it was intentional. Um, it's just it had to be given back to me because, you know, it couldn't go places. So another blanket returned and in my car. So hopefully if I have the time and money, I'll send it out. But I'm fucking tired of making things. <laughs> my stuff gets turned back to me. But excuse my French. So anyways, so hopefully whoever receives this blanket at work loves it, you know, and, and sees the, you know, the time and love that I did put into it. So the pattern again is a pin, a uh, pinwheel crochet pinwheel. Sorry about that. So the pattern is the crochet pinwheel blanket by the crochet crowd. Um, it's going to be all wonky right now. So, uh, I was on TikTok for about an hour live was on there kind of just enjoying a little bit of music and I can't put music on here because copyright so it is what it is so again this is the crochet pinwheel by the crochet crowd she's so pretty very trippy <laughs> so um yeah whoever's gets whoever gets this is gonna be Super excited. Um, yeah, I made it with love. It's, it's, it's funky. It's different. This is uh, variegated. Is it? Yeah, this is variegated. So stripe, you'll see the black and everything matching up as it's going up. With variegated, it's just very spotty. So, what? Yep. So again, the yarn that I'm using, um, this is Mainstays. This was many, many moons ago. Uh, from Walmart. I had like eight or nine uh, skeins of it. This one here, um, I got about a month or two ago. I made a monster, a crocheted monster. Um, this one is Soft Sage by Karen One Pound. So, and this has been on my hook. I am using a six millimeter uh, US J10, 10J. So, yeah. But I'll show it one more time. I'm going to try and I think I have like six more sizes of these because I had taken them all and I, I kind of wound them up when I first got my yarn winder. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're going to make cakes. Don't do that again. Yarn cakes is when you have <laughs> leftover yarn or sock yarn or anything nice. Not, not, just no. So I think I'm just going to keep going until the sage is done if this doesn't finish before it. That is going to be, and you're seeing the back of it. Um, let me see if I can pull it up for it, because I don't want the yarn to tangle. So, you see the back, you can see more of the ridges. And you carry the yarn. Um, I, I believe it's like tapestry. So you just carry the yarn across, so that way you can swap out easier. But that's the front of it. And some spots you're going to see that I carry the yarn. I've done so many of these. Um, I think this is probably like number 40, 50, 60. I've made of these. So it's one of my favorite patterns. It's my go-to pattern, especially when I want to use a lot of my yarn. My yarn. Blah, blah. <laughs> when I want to use a lot of my yarn, um, just so I can go yarn shopping and uh, build up my stash again. But I do have to start using a lot of it because, again, a lot of it is... Um, is getting um, yarn rot splitting. That one, she's not splitting as bad, but um, I see a couple thin spots that are happening. And, um, whatchamacallit, every time I try to grab it, it just, it doesn't, it snags, but it doesn't 
fully cat. It's hard to explain. I'm sure crocheters know what I'm saying. Like, you get some good spots. The yarn is going. You're like, okay, I'm doing this. I haven't dropped a stitch. I've 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 caught every single single double half. And then you get to a particular spot, and it's just like, why won't you go through the hook? So, I yeah, my yarn has been acting funky with that one. Anyways, we're already ten minutes in. I said I wanted to make this as quickly as possible. So my next project, um, I am knitting a hat. This was because I'm bored. <laughs> uh, I I know where the, I don't know where the label is. It's somewhere. So um, I I do know that I got this yarn from. Let me tell my kids to lower it. Okay, the kids were screaming on their video games. Like <laughs> Just no screaming. Anyways. So I got this one, um, I've been here for two years. I lived over up the road, so three years ago. I got this from Knit Picks. Um, I can't really remember the name of it. It is a sock yarn. I got all my hair all over it. I love my blues. It's And the camera is really not doing justice because again, I have the window open as you can see on, on my picture there. I got this lamp on, that one. Either one I turn off, I look jaundice. And, and when they're on, I look greasy. So, yay. <laughs> oh, I'm having a morning. So, it's not doing any justice. If I hold it back here, you can see some of the blues. It's really pretty. Um, it's got some beige in there, some white, and some gray and charcoal gray or heather gray. And I am using... And I'm using... um. Smell great guy, Ross. Um, well, I think it's the Ross hat, but if you go to his YouTube channel, um, smell great guy, I've been watching him for years, sweet guy. Um, he has his own website and he makes his own hats. So I followed his pattern of um, three by two, three knit, and two pearl. And I just keep going around. I think I, I cast it on. I think I cast it on 140 stitches. I believe I, I, I did 140. Um, when my hair is wild, I just like to tuck it all up in there. Just let the front slip out like that, and then just. So I, it, it might even be like 100 and like 48 or 100. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> But I do like my hats a little stretchy, especially my knitting. So I don't crochet my hats. They're too stiff. I don't like stiff um, things. It just, it feels, I like gawky, but not crochet gawky. Like my blanket's okay. My sweater's okay. But my hat, no, it just feels too restricted. Especially that my hair is curly and wavy. I it, It's too much. So with knitted hats... Um, they feel more lacier, they fall lacier, they feel better. So, again, I believe I put 140 stitches. And this is how it's coming out. Again, this is also variegated. So she's going to um, spit out all randomly the colorway. Colorway. So. Wrong camera, Tina. <laughs> I'm over here. My camera's up here. Girl, not today. So. All right, and as far as the needles go, I'm using my my besties, my chow goos. Um, this one is still red lace, but it's not the um, the screw kind. I, I I have one or two regular pairs because I'm always changing my needles so frequently. It's I can't keep up with my own damn needles. <laughs> I am using a chow goo seven, which is a four point five millimeter. You won't be able to see that. Definitely not. Just just trust that I said it's a 4.5. <laughs> so, that's what I've been working on. I'm hoping to have the blanket done in about two more weeks um, before our Christmas party. Thankfully, my boss was able to make sure that um, the hotel opened to the guests, though. But um, no, no housekeeping that day. Uh, make sure we get everything situated on Christmas Eve. So, okay. So, we're going to make sure all the guests get situated on Christmas Eve. And then Christmas Day, we're all home with our families. So, 
Yay! <laughs> but I'm hoping to have that project project done in two weeks tops. Hopefully. I might just put out another 15, 20 minute video when I'm finished with it. I do have a sweater that I have been working on. Um, I just don't. And I think I showed in the last video, um, I was doing the turtleneck part of it. I think I've gotten like right up to here. I want to go up to here. So that way when I fold it, I got that again. I love the gawkiness. So, and it looks like a sewn up vest. I haven't gotten the arms done. I'm debating on the arms. I know I should knit it. No, I mean, I know I should crochet it, but I don't know if I want to do like a half double crochet, which might make it stiff or just go with the double to where it's still a little holy and I feel the cold. But then again, I, as I said earlier, I sweat my balls off. Like it could be, it could be negative nine degrees outside. I'm sweating one way or another. I'm sweating. So it's bound to happen. Anyways, let me shut this down. I wanted to make it very extremely quick um, because I didn't have much going on. So um, you guys all know you can visit my other social media handles. I'm mostly on Facebook and TikTok as Tina's Knitting Needle. I'm thinking next year, um, I want to wait um, because I do have some cards that my mom made me. I think I've shown them before. And if I didn't, they're in my car. I'm not going out to my car. But anyways, I'm thinking sometime in the summer or just maybe get through one more year of this channel. Being the, It's going to be the same, but we're going to upgrade to Tina's Knitting Hook. It sounds weird, but at least it lets people know knitting and crocheting. Um, I think people just think I only knit, so I have to go in and it's crochet. <laughs> I'm being nerdy today. Um, I think I'm just really happy and, and I got a lot, like I said, emotionally going on, but I'm still happy. I'm okay. And, um, I really hope I can get some more content out. It just, if y'all see me, it'll probably be like a once a month thing. TikTok's a little bit more easier because I'm not making videos. I can sit there for 20 minutes, how y'all doing, and then I'm out. So, anyways, so remember, my Facebook and my uh, TikTok is Tina's Knitting Needle. Instagram, I'm barely on. Don't know really how to use Instagram. I know how to post a picture, but I don't really know how to use it. So, um, that one is Tina's underscore knitting underscore needle. Um, feel free to go ahead and share, hit like, hit subscribe, and I thank you all for stopping by, and we gotta stop this train because it'll keep on going. Y'all have a great day. Bye!